Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, sorry, really excited. I have been officially accepted to Ritsume Khan's study in Kyoto program for 2014. Spring semester. Sorry. Out of order. <laughs> so, which means in a few months I will be packing up and going back to Japan. Um, I am kind of I have applied a little while ago and I was told by my advisor that it's a very small chance of me not getting in. However, I'm kind of a pessimist when it comes to things like that. I, I didn't want to get my hopes up, but now it's official. I got my letter um, and everything is getting together. So I think I will be doing a few videos on um, like my packing and stuff. I have actually studied abroad in Japan in the past. It was a short-term study abroad, so it was only like a couple months. This time it's going to be a full semester, maybe a year, depending on um, how well it goes. I may stay for an extra semester. It's still kind of up in the air right now. But um, yeah, so I was thinking of doing some packing videos. I know that's one thing I really liked to watch when I was getting ready for study abroad the first time. And I'm still doing it now. I'm kind of like looking up different study abroad packing tips because, I mean, you're going to be living in another country and you're kind of expected to fit your life in a suitcase or two. Um, my goal is to fit it all in one suitcase um, with a carry-on backpack and a tote bag and that's it. So hopefully I'll be able to get it done. Uh, it's going to be quite the challenge, but I think I can do it. So. Yeah, I'm getting started on those lists now and all the other preparations, so as soon as I start to like really get things going, I will talk about that stuff too. Um, my, I got accepted through a partner university, so uh, Ritsume Khan is a partner university with my university in the US, so I just applied through my, um, my school. So I just, I did a, a couple essays, I had to do one in English and one in Japanese, the one in Japanese had to be a minimum of 600 characters, um, I had to get a letter of recommendation, a Japanese evaluation, and um, a certificate of health where they did like a chest x-ray and various other tests to make sure I was in good condition. Um, they asked for a few other things too, like a copy of the passport, um, my transcripts, because to go through this you had, I had to have at least a G, uh, GPA of 3.0. Um, so if you have a C average, you're not going to do very well. You might want to wait a couple uh, semesters and get your GPA up so you could get accepted. Um, yeah. And since it's through my university, I'm actually paying tuition to my American university. Like, it, the tuition doesn't change at all. All my scholarships apply still, um, which is nice. And I pay uh, my home university, so I don't have to pay Ritz Macon's tuition, which is a tad bit more expensive, um, especially without my uh, scholarships. So I really just have to cover the cost of living abroad. Um, I'm planning to get into the international dorms. That's my main goal. I like to get I house too. I'm not sure if I will get it. Um, and if not, it's not that big of a deal. I can live in a hotel. <laughs> Sorry, in an apartment if I need to. I just rather not. I really like international dorms. It's a great community because you not only do you meet people from Japan. But you meet people from all over the world, like I've met people from Sweden and Australia and Canada and everywhere <laughs> the last time I came, so um, I hope to do that again. Uh, what else? I have not bought the plane ticket yet. Once I buy that, I'm going to probably talk about that too. Um, but I think the main videos are going to be packing. Packing is a huge obstacle to overcome because with me, uh, Ritsume Khan's not like right outside of 
um, subway station, like my last university was, Goshi Sha, is right outside of Imamagawa Station. So, and then the Keishi Khan, which is where I stayed, was like a couple blocks away, like a w- couple blocks walk. Um, meanwhile, with the Khan, you, ha- I have to, to get there from the airport, I have to take, um, a airport train or express line. Then I have to go to Kyoto Station and take another JR line or something, and then take the buses. And I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get there. I've been to Ritsume Khan campus. Well, I've driven by Ritsume Khan campus before on a bus when I was going to Shinkatsuki, but I never really, I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> to where it was because I didn't expect to be going. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna. It'll be a challenge to try and figure out where my dorm is and stuff. I may get a taxi because I mean, lugging over 50 pounds of uh, your life is not fun. <laughs> um, last time when I was in Japan, I my wheels on my rolly suitcase decided to disintegrate and I had like 80 pounds of crap in there because it was at the end of my trip. So I had all this stuff that I had bought um, and I had to drag that down like five blocks. It was awful. So, so bad. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm very excited in case you can't tell. <laughs> so, um, uh, if you have any questions or things you want me to do a video on, I'm not an expert. Um, I have studied abroad before, so I'll try and answer as many questions as possible, and as well as make, like, some first-hand videos, uh, both before I go there and after I arrive, so, <laughs> I'm so excited, so, um, I'll talk to you guys later, bye!